Hey folks, today we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the Eyeball Pro and the HaloView Handy 7. Both of these are wireless backup cameras that attach by magnet to the back of your vehicle, allowing them to be used in multiple different positions, and not only on your vehicle, but also on the trailer itself. We're going to test both of these in a variety of situations that you might encounter, so you can decide which camera will be the best fit for you. For our first test here, we're going to be checking the viewing angle that both cameras offer. They're both said to offer a 120 degree viewing angle, so we've just attached them to the tailgate of the pickup here, one on top of the other, and then we have them set at about the same angle, and we'll see uh, on both of their screens just how much viewing angle they do have. On the left you have the Halo View camera, and on the right you have the Eyeball Pro. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk by at a distance of about six feet away from the bumper of the vehicle. I'm going to start off frame and then work my way across and so you'll see which camera gives you the better viewing angle. In this next test we're going to grab both cameras off the back of the vehicle and just walk as far away until we lose signal on either camera or both cameras. The Halo View is saying over 900 feet of connectivity where the Eyeball Pro only says 100 feet. So we'll just do a side by side check to see how much range they actually have. In our line of sight distance test, we found that the Eyeball Pro would lose connectivity between 120 and 140 feet. We tested the Halo View out to 300 feet and never lost connectivity. For our next test, we're going to check the microphone levels of the Halo View Handy 7. It does have a built-in microphone on the camera, so we should be able to hear uh, what's happening behind the vehicle. We'll do a distance check at 20 feet, 10 feet, and then 3 feet from the camera just so you can hear. We do have the volume level set at 5 out of 9 levels that are on the monitor itself. Alright, for this next test, what we're going to do is test the capabilities of both cameras at nighttime. So, right now, uh, you're seeing the Halo View camera. Uh, that is the ball of my hitch down on the bottom there. And I'm just going to back up. Uh, I have my garbage can in position so you can see uh, how much visibility there is when approaching other objects in the dark. Alright, what you're seeing now is the eyeball camera. Right now I have my foot on the brake, so the brake lights of the truck are lighting the space behind the vehicle. When I take my foot off the brake, this is the image that you see. And so now when we put it into reverse and we have our rear backup lights on, you'll see this as we back up to that garbage can. What we're going to do in the next test here is place both cameras on the back end of a 30-foot camper. Uh, the camper is actually placed in its storage facility, so we'll see just how strong the connectivity is. And this would be a perfect time where you'd want to be able to use a backup camera to get into a tight space. Um, so we'll see if they can remain in range with a lot of obstacles in between the camera and the monitor itself. The view you're seeing now is the halo view on the bumper of the vehicle. Now in the upper left hand corner of the camper, in the middle of the camper, and in the upper right corner of the camper. Okay, now we'll repeat the process here with the Eyeball Pro. The view you're seeing now is on the bumper of the camper, the upper left hand corner, the center of the camper, and the upper right hand corner. 
What you see here are the specifications of each backup camera. You can pause the video now and take a closer look.